Welcome to Bloodbath and Beyond. Today I review Tremors 5 Bloodline. You just got wormed. Directed by Don Michael Paul, starring Michael Gross and Jamie Kennedy, Tremors 5 Bloodline is about the Graboids and their back in South Africa this time, where our main man, Bert Gummer, has to head down south to figure out their problem. Like every Tremors movie before this one, Burt Gummer, played by Michael Gross, his character is what everyone looks forward to in Tremors. He is just that gun-toting, awesome guy who's gonna go out there and kick some ass, and in this movie, he's the survivalist. And survival starts here. And I really enjoyed the fact that they stayed true with having Michael Gross coming back and playing Burt Gummer, because really, he is the face of the Tremors franchise. Having Jamie Kennedy in this film as Michael Gross's right-hand man was a nice touch, because the two really played off of one another. You kind of had like a younger version, a more modern Burt Gummer in Jamie Kennedy's character. Being straight to on demand, you wouldn't think that the budget was that high, but really, the quality was great. They had great cinematography, and they used a lot of different shot types and camera techniques to really make the film look good. I really enjoyed that they used their time in the story to explain all the evolutions of the Tremors. Because the first film came out so long ago that not everyone remembers what the Tremors are. And by the Tremors, I mean the Graboids. And what was cool about it is it went through the whole stage of their evolution. And so you get to see how the Graboids evolve, what each Graboid type is like, all the way to the Ass Blaster. So they just like refresh everything and it gets you up to date. So if you've never seen a Tremors movie, you're going into this and you already know what's going on. Sadly, the story is the weakest part of this film. I didn't like how the characters were developed and I didn't like how the story arc was presented. Well, Bert is chasing the Graboids and the Ass Blasters throughout the entire film. We have another side story going on in the village where the Ass Blasters are attacking them. It just felt like you were watching two different films. Whereas in the Tremors series, they really just focused on one location and being isolated and surrounded by Graboids. And in this film, they didn't have that. They had too vast of a land that they were chasing the Graboids instead of the Graboids chasing them. Another part of the story is the humor. They kept referring to this being Africa and it's not America. They used that joke for the first half hour and it was overplayed and it wasn't even funny. As for the Graboids and the Ass Blasters themselves, they didn't really look the best. I found the CGI to be pretty weak for this type of film. When they focus so much on the evolution of all different forms of the Graboids, they forgot the Shriekers and I was really hoping to see the Shriekers in there. Even Burt Gummer at one point says, well hopefully we don't have to see any Shriekers because that's the only thing we haven't seen yet. In this film, that is the only thing you don't see. I found the kills in this film were not well executed. It was a lot of shaky cam and off-screen action, and I felt they could have had at least one or two of the kills seen on screen. It's nice to see, 25 years later, that the Tremors series is still kicking, because I was a huge fan of it growing up. I love Tremors 1, 2, and 3, 4, not so much, but it's cool that they brought it back and they kept with the original character of Burt Gummer and had Michael Gross come back to reprise his role. The downside is the story didn't feel like the other Tremors films. This one just felt out of place. It didn't have that charm that you got from the first three films. I felt they could have did a lot more with this considering that all the other films took place in like Nevada and this one took place in South Africa. That they could have just redid everything from the first one just with new characters. But we didn't get that at all. We got a cookie cutter story with some bland characters feeding off of Burt Gummer jokes. So that being said, I'm gonna give this film two awesome Starbucks pickup lines out of five. You are like a holiday drink, like a caramel macchiato pumpkin spice latte, but instead of pumpkin, it's African spice. As always, thank you for watching. Make sure to comment below your thoughts of the film. If you haven't seen the film, there's a link in the description below, so make sure to check it out. Also, I want to hear what your favorite Graboid evolution form is. Mine is the Shrieker. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with our reviews, reactions, and games of What Would You Do.